Welcome back everyone, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Pensacola, Florida to Panama City, Florida. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I've applied a green livery to it for fun. And so let's go ahead and go inside and get started. Take off the parking brake. And here we go. Trying to do a better job of staying straight on the runway as I'm taking off. For some reason that gets kind of hard. I found if I push forward on both pedals at the same time, it applies some pressure. It lets me micro adjust a little easier. Okay, we're ready to lift off. Let's go ahead and do that. Landing gear up. Flaps up. We have to pull up on the stick to keep our angle of altitude, angle of hey, descent. Three, six, seven, continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Okay, so we need to turn around. Pensacola Tower KH367 continue so for we'll do east that departure. And accelerate at the same or uh, ascend at the same time. Seems like a pretty severe angle, but I don't think the airplane cares about that. We're not going super fast. And so I just need to get us to going east. Alright, we're almost there. Um, I do need to continue a bit north just to get the heading perfectly hey, right. And we're now above the altitude I wanted to go, that's Pensacola 2000. Tower KH367 frequency so change. I'm going to go ahead and nose down Neglin a bit. Neglin approach KH367 is type Beechcraft King Air 2 miles south of Pensacola at 2,400 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH367 Neglin approach. Squawk 7134. Squawk 7134 KH367. Okay, I'm starting to go a little fast. I'm trying to level off, so I'm going to drop the throttle. We're still heading to try to get those magenta lines on the compass to converge so that we know they're wrong. I'm going to drop the throttle a little bit more since we're actually kind of dropping in altitude, we're getting too much speed. And I think we can start to turn a little bit back towards east. Alright, and we are at the right altitude now, so as soon as I can finish this turn, I'm going to turn on altitude, altitude control, or uh, yeah, hold, hold mode. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that on, altitude, hold. Alright, so that should keep us going level, and then let's turn on uh, autopilot in general. And the yaw damper, there we go. We like autopilot, okay, yeah, it's turning to get us back on course perfectly. So we've got altitude, hold at 2000, we've got the yaw damper on, navigation should be on, yes, okay, so we're good. Let's just go ahead and wait for things to get back on course here. Well, this doesn't look like it's doing it. So, let's see, what could be wrong? Uh, we're not holding altitude anymore. Is autopilot on? 
Okay, I thought I engaged autopilot. Appar apparently I did not. I has assigned it to one of the buttons on the stick, but apparently it wasn't the correct setting. It was toggle master autopilot, but if that would turn it on, apparently it did not. Anyway, now we are under plane control. There was nothing dangerous about that, but we were just going in the wrong direction. And dropping an altitude, it would have eventually been dangerous if I thought autopilot was engaged and didn't realize it wasn't. With the weather changing, I'm going to continue hitting B occasionally and check the barometer. Looks like it's okay. All right. So I think we're okay to go outside. Let me grab the Xbox controller. Look outside a little bit. It's obviously a stormy day. There's not going to be a lot of really pretty sights to see, probably. Getting a little bit of blue sky peeking through. I've never been to Florida myself. I'm not surprised to see all the water. Local time here should be about 1.20 p.m. Got a patch of sunlight breaking through over here. I'm going to switch to the drone. Couldn't find a setting for this to be defaulted up to 100%. So it looks like you do have to set it every time. Okay, but I wanted to kind of check out this sunny area here. Nothing particularly interesting to see here. Uh, a lot of water, a lot of beaches. I guess this is a landing strip over here. Or it's, I guess it's a patch of dirt. It's listed as an airport. Alright, well, I suppose that works. I uh, saw cars down there for a moment and they all disappeared. I think we ran out of range or something. <coughs> this pretty much looks like what I would expect Florida to look like. Kind of peaceful. Let's go check back on the plane. Engine speed is okay. Altitude's fine. We're on target. Let's go back.
Okay, we're back. Heading into less visible conditions here. Still have a way to go to get to the airport. Going to go back to the external view. Plane parameters look okay. Could be going a little faster. It would be nice to come through here again when the weather's a little bit better. Here it is, you know, mid-December. So you'd expect there to be inclement weather like this. Alright, let's go inside. Reset the view. And actually, I will center and back up. Oops, back up. So, as a pilot, at this point, you would have to deal with not being able to see anything at all. And that just seems kind of scary. If the instruments went out, I would be pretty out of luck. I don't have any passengers, I suppose. Now, I assume if the Garmin went out, this backup unit would still work, and so at least I'd still have basic information on the plane. I would lose autopilot, probably, which is fine. At some point, when I'm a little bit more confident, I might experiment with failures, see what happens. I am curious what happens if, for instance, the engines shut off, can I actually get them started at altitude? I'm thinking what I ought to do is just have it happen and then figure it out in real time and see if I can do it. So, just not a lot to see. I can see a little bit of land out this window here. I zoom in. Outside, see if we can see much. Not, not really. It's a little bit there. The weather seems pretty calm. The uh, plane's not really getting jostled. We're not flying at an angle, as if there was a crosswind or anything. So, seems pretty. Okay, other than not being able to see anything. There's the uh, overhead view. So it's going through different volumes of cloud. Looks like there might be a very sunny view over to the right. Oh yeah, although just a glow. The silhouette effect is interesting though, I think. Uh, interesting, getting some little uh, reflections on something. As if the sun is somehow reflecting past the clouds. I don't have the clouds set to the highest quality level because it was reflecting the frame rate. Um, I might have something to do with it. I have ray tracing turned on. I wonder if I can see. Oh, look at the I wonder if I can see the shine of the sun reflected in the airplane. 
below. I'm not, I'm not seeing any, any sign of that. And I think by now the glow has kind of disappeared. Getting that funny uh, interference between the windows thing that happens sometimes. I think they'd fix that. I haven't seen that in a while. I think the weather's starting to get a little bit different. I'm not hitting the left stick, which is usually what causes jostling when I'm in the external view, accidentally, but it does seem like the plane is moving around a bit. I'll try going back to this this particular view. Oh, that's interesting. You can see underneath the clouds. I wonder if maybe if I drop an altitude it'd be a little bit easier to see. Let's try that. So we're gonna wanna go to let's say fifteen hundred. Well, that's a little low. Maybe I'll do 16. And then back off the throttle a little. KH367, contact signal approach on 125 decimal 2. Alright, so the experiment is will we be able to see a little bit more if we drop a few hundred feet? I don't want to drop too low because we'll need the altitude to do the landing, get into the landing pattern. So I think it's a little bit more visible than land can be seen. That's probably just the weather clearing in this area anyway. There's a lit up area. We have time to go investigate that with the drone. I have to always go reset this after I've reset the drone. So let's see what we can see over here. Alright, some kind of uh, coastal community, I guess. I suppose the AI just put in a bunch of default buildings. It looks very, I don't know, industrial or corporate, not residential. Some kind of a bridge that emerges out of nowhere, or a road that emerges out of nowhere. I saw a car just appear there. Oops. I wonder what that is based on. That's very strange. No idea what cities these are. Um, we're heading to Panama City, so we're probably pretty close to that. Alright, I'm going to reset the drone. Back to external, reset that. Back to internal, reset that as well. And I think if I plug in the 360 controller at this point, it's less likely to turn off and cause the game to lock up. And I am going to disengage autopilot and take over, because we'll be landing soon. Alright, our altitude's a little on the low side. So I'm going to get us back up there and at the same time slow down. ready for landing. We're turning it back on course here a little bit. Okay, so we're high enough altitude Let's continue dropping throttle, trying to slow us down. I'd like to get down into flap range, that white strip on the speed ticker tape. I think this is the f first flight I've actually kept my feet on the rudder pedals most of the time. Maybe 
can be all the time. Okay, we're still going too fast. Uh, I'm going to continue dropping throttle. Let's burn off some of this excess energy. I can also lift up a bit. It wouldn't be a bad idea to be around 2,000. I'm not sure where the landing entrance will be, but sometimes it's as high as you know 2,200. That'll help us get to speed. Alright, so I'm going to level off. Hopefully we'll continue dropping in speed and I'll put the flaps down halfway. Still could use getting a little bit more on course. Or now we've dropped again in altitude, so let's just lift ourselves up a bit again. Definitely in flap territory now, so I'm going to go ahead and put those down halfway and push hard on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. That will slow us down significantly. I shouldn't have to adjust the throttle yet. Alright, now we need to level off. We're to get, starting to get a little bit too up there. Pilot's about to contact the tower. Panama City Tower KH367 is 11 miles west with uniform to land. KH367 Panama City Tower. Make straight in runway 15. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 0 6 wing 133 at 7. So, do we get to go straight in? Fly straight nice. in runway 15 KH367. That would be very handy. Oh, well, not quite. I guess we do have to go get over there. Okay. Never quite know where those are going to be. Often by the time it shows up, we've passed the entrance. Um, it might be nice if the pilot, the co-pilot, contacts them a little sooner, or maybe I should contact them uh, a little sooner so it shows up. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, we're uh, dipping up a bit. It's actually not a bad thing. I see where the entrance is. It's not so bad. Once I turn into there, I'm going to put the flaps down all the way and, and bring up the throttle for the remainder of the landing. KH367 clear to land runway 15. Wind 133 at 7. Clear to land runway 15. Oops, did not mean to. I must have hit something. Probably hit the letter V that came up. I was hitting B for bar uh, bar barometer. Alright, so we're almost there. Maintaining our altitude at the moment. And we'll be able to enter momentarily. I think I can go ahead and start making my turn. Alright, so it looks like it's straight in. Once you're in the pattern, it looks like it's just a straight in landing. That should be very straightforward. Too fast. Yep, I know. We will slow it down. I can go ahead and put this flaps down all the way landing now. Here. Landing gear. And landing gear. Landing gear. And 
give it some throttle because it's going to want to drop out of the sky. Okay. Alright, so we seem to be in good shape. Still a little fast. I'd like to get down hovering a little above 100. But we'll get there. Try to get it a little better centered here. Speed wise, I think we're doing really good. So I'm going to drop throttle just a little bit more. I wouldn't mind losing a bit of altitude also, so that we're not having to do that at the last minute. fast. Yep, I know. I'll nose up and we'll take care of that. In fact, I'm going to pull back on the throttle now and then use nosing up to slow us back down. And then keep an eye on the throttle so we don't drop out of the sky. It's going to want to go down below 100 at this point. So I'm going to give it some more thrust. There we go. Thrust made it nose up a bit. So I really have to make sure I don't land too early in this case because it's right over the water. I'm going to continue to slow down, try to get as close to a little above 90 as I can without going below that. I'm hearing little ticks and pops. I assume that's probably raindrops hitting the windshield, little small ones. Okay, I think we're going a little fast. I would like to continue to drop in speed, so pull back on the thrust. We're dropping at a pretty good angle, so I might have enough energy to keep afloat here. But I'm going to keep an eye on it. Down at 101-100. Feels like we're not dropping too fast. Ninety-nine. That's probably okay. If it starts to drop too quickly, I'm going to give it some more thrust. In fact, I think I'll give it a little bit now, just in case. can't really see where I'm going anymore, but I can see it on the Garmin. I need to give it a little bit more thrust, make sure we don't drop out right here. Yeah, we're getting really low in speed here. We're going to stall if we're not careful. I'm going to take off again if we're not careful. Alright, at this point I think I'm okay. Throttle's all the way down. I think I can start to arc up a little bit and get ready for us. Try to do a nice hover smooth landing. It's not a very long runway though, so probably don't have a lot of time to, to do that. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. Let's see. Try to get it level. Okay, we've touched down, front wheel down, flaps down, brakes. Alright, that was a pretty good landing. And we will exit the runway right over here. Alright, I feel pretty good about that landing. Um, felt like the plane was happy with it. It was a nice two-step wheel landing. So I feel really good about that. My landings have gotten significantly one better after for KH367. slowing down before I get there. And the problem I always had was just coming in with way too much speed, and then it becomes a real challenge to slow down safely. Panama City ground KH367 taxi to parking. 
Alright, let's uh, get ourselves over there. A little bit of a sharp turn here. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Bravo KH367. That's where the left and right braking comes in handy. Make those nice quick pivots. I'm sure that's not very pleasant for the passengers to ha have to deal with, though. So if I was a professional pilot, I'd probably want to do that in a super smooth way. Um, people don't like to be jostled around unnecessarily. Alright, so we're going at a good speed. Make this turn over here. I'm still having rain droplets dropping on the cockpit. Not quite fully raining yet. I don't see any evidence of it, but I certainly hear it. Alright, so let's get around this turn. A little bit of braking. Okay, there we go. There's a car. There's always a car in the way. I'm not sure why. I'll just go around. Kind of wish I had a right rear view mirror to look, but I'm sure there's nobody trying to pass me on the right. Uh, I hope my wings will clear that. Probably so. It seems like I ought to be able to get on the radio and ask the tower to get that person to get off the uh, taxiway. I'm not supposed to just park right in the middle of the taxiway. So local time here should be 1.47 p.m. Looks like kind of a default airport, just the usual kind of boring military looking buildings. Um, it looks like my arrow kind of goes in two different directions here. Just go straight. I don't see any reason to make that little turn. And there's a fire engine there, I guess. Uh, I don't think my plane's on fire. I don't know what they're doing there. Uh, okay, really? What are you guys doing? Alright, they're leaving. Good. Alright. Well, at least I thought they were leaving. Now they're just sitting there. Huh. Alright, well, anyway. We will continue making our way to parking. really come in handy for that. Alright, there's our parking spot right there. Alright, we're coming in really fast, but we can slow it down. brake on. Realized recently I can actually clear those warnings and then shut engines off. Let them go through their cooldown. So here we are in Panama City on a stormy 
day with some partial blue sky. Uh, I think it was around 62 outside, so it's not too bad. It's really kind of too bad the game doesn't let you get out and walk around and stretch your legs. But you, of course, can look around with the drone. All right. Well, anyway, let's shut the plane off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.